Hey guys, Stephen here from Heresy Academy. This new series, we're going to do a 2D platformer game in Unity. The reason I'm doing one of these is someone's actually asked for it in one of the comments, so I decided to give it a go. Um, I've created a new project, it's a 2D project, as that's all we've done so far. It's called 2D Platformer, I didn't give it a name. Uh, the layout will be the same now as what we set the idle clicker to be. But what I may do now is going over to the layout tab. I'll just stick it to 2 by 3 and then drop the project file down here. You see, pull this across, pull this one across. Oh, come on, there we go. And that's the layout we just had. You see, so that's how you get to it if you want it. Um, this is kind of my preferred style for most games. So we're going to make a platformer game. It's going to be horizontal, so left and right. So this sort of layout here is fine. We may want to change, change like that, I suppose, 12.8 to a 7.20, but to do it like that, <clears throat> something like that. Um, so, normally I'd do like an introduction, and then the next one will be the setting up, but I'm going to try and now, um, what's it called, get the setup done in the first video as well. Well, just in case you don't have Unity, this is my YouTube channel, you want to go to unity3d.com, then... When you get there, follow the bases. It's always terrible when you record your own internet, it's terrible. Right, yeah, so this is the Unity website, then go to Get Unity Now, and you'll download it, pick a license, stuff like that. Unity is a great engine, it's unity3d.com, um, but it does do a lot of 2D, it's got a lot of 2D capabilities, so you know, you just you pick your license and go with it. So then you install it, then you set up your project, and make sure it's selected to be a 2D project. You don't need to import anything just yet, um, like at the beginning, because you, know, you just use your own assets. So I'm just going to drag these five pieces into the project folder here. Probably would have been a good idea to make an assets folder first. So what I've got at the moment is I've got some coins, uh, I've got a character, and I've got some platforms. So... I'm just going to right click and create a folder. Uh, just call it sprites this time. Another one I'm going to call it scripts. So this is how, basically, how I. Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Just drag these in. So this is basically how I set up my projects. You know, I always set my layout and then drag in some uh, assets and stuff like that. For this now, I've got um, what's called a sprite sheet. With three images in here. Um, the image size is 87 by 37. So you don't need to mess around with the uh, the compression. Make sure it's sprite 2D and UI. We're going to change this to be a multiple image. We won't change the pixels per unit just yet, but we'll give it point no filter. Click on apply. Then we want to open up our sprite editor. So, as you can see, you've got these three. This is basic, basic walking animation. Um, we'll do a walking animation afterwards and we'll set it up just for these three. Then we'll just flip it to go left and right. So, I'm pretty confident we can just click on slice and go for automatic. This will automatically give us these. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. They seem quite regular, um, not regular, but quite set up nicely. The only thing you may notice is the height increases, but you know, you're taking a step, so it does give you illusion of you bumping up. If you don't like that, you can you, obviously you'll have your own images set up as well. You can use other methods to split it up, but the automatic works for us, so we don't need to go into this. We'll just click on apply and exit this, and we'll grab the astronaut. So, in fact, actually, sorry, let's go back to the sprite editor. First one, I'm going to call Astro Idle. So what I'm doing here, I've clicked on the box that is highlighted the first one, and then we call this here in the in the name section Astro Idle. These two I don't really need to name. Uh, C1, C2, so I can say that's one step, that's two step. I mean, I could be specific and say that's the left foot forward and that one's the right foot forward. I don't need to do that. Maybe we'll do later on. Click on Apply. Come back down here now, I've got my astronaut idle. I drag this into my scene, and as you can see, it is pretty small. 
So I may decide to go over here now and just do 50 pixels per unit. Click on apply and it doubles in size. It's, it could possibly be, be done um, a bit bigger, but it completely depends on what you're trying to go for now. This is just me setting up. Maybe I'll try 30 pixels per unit. That'll do. I mean, I may, I may shrink it again later on, but that'll do for now. And we've got this sprite image here, and obviously, again, it's one image. So I'm going to go into the sprite edit. Well, put point no filter. It's a multiple image. The pixels per unit. Uh, We'll leave it as it is for now, and then go into the sprite editor. And this one again, hmm. yeah, I'm pretty sure automatic can do this. I look to obtain more accurate result. Manual slicing is recommended. So slice this. Um, everything's good. Yeah, super. Sometimes you may find like, oh yeah, like this one for example. It wasn't very good after all. I'm just going to grab a few squares, put these up together. I didn't notice this, but you see, if you haven't got a line in between them, Unity does have a hard time trying to pick them out, as you may have just seen here. So, what I'm doing is I'm just, just manually selecting it now. So, just anywhere, creating a square. I'm just going to drag this square to sort of touch up to these squares, drag it to where I want it to cut it out. And it does sort of snap per pixel. Um, it often does often does that anyway so you can just drag it one piece at a time and then I'm just sort of aligning it as to where I think it should go one low will do let's just drag this one back so you can see you're creating lines along here you can just align it to be how you want it to be then again for this one I mean, I didn't really need to do this because I probably won't even use this image, but I just wanted to show you guys how to manually select your images. Then you click on apply, and now you've got six squares. But to be fair, for our ground, I'll probably go for this one or that one. So again, now, so I can find it a bit easier, I'm going to say now, they do look quite similar, so that one's a bit lighter though, so we'll go for the dark one. And we'll call this ground here. The point of doing that would be just so I can find it easier. Click on apply, exit this off, and I see ground there. I drag this in here, and you know, compared to our character, it's tiny. So I'll go over to my sprite sheet, and I'll just drop it down to 50 for now. Maybe that will be good enough. It serves its purpose, because what I want to consider is basically the, the width of the player can be a bit bigger than the tiles, stuff like that. Um, if we go back to this real quick, open up the sprite editor. With this piece as well, this piece looks like it'll do all right. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna call this one underground. Now the setting of it, because it did automatically, it found it pretty well. So I'll click on apply for that. And then the underground one, I'll drag this under here. And that looks like it would go nicely there. But you can't really tell. Um, obviously, you can zoom in completely. And just could be messing around now. Uh, let's just drag it there. So we'll go on this one. Uh, T. I'm going to hold down V and just grab this. Just snap it to it. And as you can see, I'm zooming in now. It looks pretty good to me. And then I may decide to Control and D to duplicate. And hold down V and drop it down. What that does, if you don't know already, um, it just snaps it along the vertices, so you can attach it to the relevant, like where it, where it touch sort of thing. And because the automatic cutting is really good, um, it works wonders. So that to me will do pretty well as the ground. So I'm going to now create an empty object, and I'll just call this I'll call this floor. I mean. You may have a different setup, you may have it already drawn out to be this one piece and stuff like that. So not everything I do will be relevant. Sorry, just made a little mistake there. On the floor, empty object. I want to make sure I reset it as well. I'm going to drag these and drop these to here. So now that I've done this, I've done the character. Um, I will leave the video here because I want to set up character movement. Um, 
set up a bit more of a scene, stuff like that. And the main thing I'll do just before we do end the video is Control and S to save. Catches a lot of people out. In the assets folder here now in Unity, this is where I've saved the project. So the location will be a bit different to you, but mine is the PC, desktop, heresy, YouTube, 2D platformer, YouTube, 2D platformer assets. So I'm going to now make a new folder, underscore scenes. And inside that folder, I'm just going to call this main. And as, it, as it saves, the project is saved. I'll just close off the sprites here. You'll now see the scenes folder has been added into your project file because that is your project project directory so yeah that's what you got to look forward to even though i've not really told you what you got to look forward to but i've sort of given you a general idea um the setup may not be the exact same as you depends if you've got access to the same assets as me um stuff like that at the end of my recording sessions like at the end of the whole series i was setting up the project files with all the scripts all the assets i've used any music anything like that all together and they'll be putting them onto the patreon which there will be a link in the description below, pardon me. But yeah, so if you like this video, um, you're looking forward to the series, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, if you think there's too many 2D platformers out there, well, I got I got a request, so, you know, I've got 31 subscribers. Woo. Uh, yeah, so subscribe, because I've got 31 subscribers, and I would like to see 32 and 33, and... I'm having difficulty counting, so if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing so I can get used to learning bigger numbers, that would be brilliant. <laughs> that would be brilliant. <laughs> so I'll catch you in the next video, guys.